Hello and welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We're the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. We just hit 60 million minutes viewed on YouTube. And this week we're on board Celebrity Cruisers. We're on the reflection ship, but the product is the same across all of their cruise lines. We were thrilled to book a Caribbean cruise for 10 nights and we went from Fort Lauderdale and I have to say check-in was supremely brilliant. They got everybody through as quick as they could and considering there are thousands of people, that cannot be an easy task. Once on board, you can get in your cabin about one o'clock. Of course, they only have just a few hours to turn around the entire ship. And I have to say they do it magnificently. The hygiene on board and the cleanliness is only to be admired. It really is a triumph how these people work together to keep this ship spick and span. So we go on board the ship. There are 15 decks and there's a center atrium. In the middle of that is where the entertainment happens in the evening. Once in your cabin, you'll see that it isn't high luxury, but it is rather nice. I'm always amazed how basic the cabins are within cruise ships, even at luxury liners. I mean, this is not high luxury. This is probably your average to upper cruise. I mean, as you can see here, it is lovely and clean. It is perfectly acceptable, but this isn't a five star boutique hotel. It is rather basic with the plywood and the rather bizarre cushions. It is as spacious as you're going to get for a cruise line of this standard. We're on reflection. The bathrooms actually are quite nice and spacious. There's no bath in these uh, rooms. I'm sure you get them in some of the better cabins. But uh, as a basic cabin goes, the shower is certainly big enough and the bathroom excels expectation, to be perfectly honest with you. So then we go into the main atrium. And as you can see, I think they call it the foyer, by the way, not the atrium. It is very lovely and well designed. The center tree is just fantastic. And as you go down in the escalators, you get to see all of the entertainment, as you can see down the main stairs there, which is where they sing and dance and have fun into the late evening. For me, the great thing about cruising is the destinations. But of course, every night at seven and nine, you get a different show. And I have to say, hugely impressed by the entertainment on board. Celebrity, they really work hard. They get six weeks rehearsal. Uh, that take place in Miami. Then they come on board. Certainly the choreography is fantastic. Some of the singing we'll talk about later and tell you why I think it could be improved. But as shows go on cruise ships, it doesn't get much better than this. As you can see, the ship is huge and the pools are very nice. It does get crowded though. My favorite are port days when everybody's off and you get the ship to yourself. Sports fans will love the grassed areas. It wasn't used during our cruise, I have to say. It seems to be just a gimmick that's there. Nobody sat on the grass, uh, but the lawn areas are uh, one of the gimmicks of celebrity. Be careful with the drinks packages water in the room is a ridiculous six dollars it's over four dollars if you pay at the bar i highly suggest you get one of the drinks packages even if you don't drink alcohol the systems on board this cruise line are ridiculous you can have this you can't have that this is one of the things i really hated about celebrity is that you're constantly saying can i have this ice cream from here but if you go to the ice cream shop you can't but if you go to the buffet you can you can have certain alcohol if you're on the basic drinks package, but you can't have the elite drinks. It is constantly confusing, and I found it really irritating, I have to admit. However, if you're given an onboard credit, you can go around the shops and buy yourself a $10,000 painting or whatever you get. Uh, there are some lovely shops to walk around. Um, I'd wait till the end of the cruise when the sales are on because uh, the smart cruisers know that this is a way of getting a good discount. The kids will be entertained. I have to say the age group on our particular cruise ship was very old. It was a floating care home at times and we had some rough seas as we uh, headed down to the Caribbean. And I have to say I did pick up a few people off the floor. Uh, it was quite concerning uh, how old and frail some of these people were. But nevertheless, I think it was probably exceptional because it was January when we went on this cruise, but it was an older clientele than I thought, which was very interesting. There are, of course, libraries on board, although we couldn't find a single book in English worth reading, but there you go. There's an indoor pool, so on the cold days, uh, you can have fun in there, but as you can see, it's not very big, so you're gonna struggle with that. The outdoor pools are fantastic, and uh, there are plenty of sun lounges, but they are very close together. This is not the height of luxury in a sense of space. It is cramming thousands of people 
into what is a tin can and they do the best they can. Food was excellent in the buffet, but I have to say overall the food was a disappointment. I don't know, it's not that hot and it's not that fancy. Little things like there's no shrimp in the buffet give away the fact that this is not a five-star cruise. I got sick of the restaurant because we had to queue and I'll tell you more about that later. And then the other restaurants on board you have to pay for. So once again, you've been stopped quite a lot to get more money out of you at every possible opportunity. That's how celebrity work. It's all about the add-ons for them. They get you on board a bit like Las Vegas, I suppose. And then they try and get out of you what you can. But my recommendation is if you want a coffee, go to the buffet. It is free. It is not free if you go to the cafeteria. I think it's on deck four or five. Uh, if you've got the drinks package, it's free. If not, they'll charge you four, five or six dollars. The entertainment is plentiful. As you can see, every night there's shows within the main atrium. And uh, you've, of course, got the theatre where there's shows at seven and nine. And then there are bars, the Sky Bar, for example, at the top, right at the front. That's lovely. Uh, they do karaoke in there, which was quite appalling. But it is what it is, I suppose. For me, the whole point of cruising is the destinations and the sail outs. These are the moments you really need to be on the top deck to watch these glorious views as you leave the Caribbean islands. In this case, that was St. Lucia. And uh, we went into Barbados. We went into St. Martin. It really was wonderful. But these moments are magical when you sail away. So do make sure you're on the top deck for those. Uh, these are where you'll see the best perspectives of all the places you've visited and get the best pictures and the best video too. You can check out all of our exclusive Sail Away videos by going to our YouTube channel and looking up Celebrity Cruises. Uh, as I say, all of the various ships, there's the Edge, we were on Reflection, they're all about the same. There might be the odd little difference, but across the brand, Celebrity Cruises are the same. So if you're thinking, well, it won't be like this on our ship, it might look a little bit different in places, but the service, the costs and the standard will be exactly the same. So you've got a bar at uh, the back of the ship, which is fantastic. I love that on deck 14 and 15. You can sit right at the back. The cafe buffet is on uh, 14. And then on 15 is this beautiful bar where you can sail away and have lovely drinks. Again, just be careful what you ask for. If you give your wrong card or if you don't uh, have the right card, you will be charged and it is pricey. On our cruise, the weather was mainly fine, but sailing out, it was choppy. And if you get seasickness, you should go and get one of those tablets that, to stop that because it really can be unpleasant. At night, it is gorgeous on your balcony, but look at this, it can get choppy. So again, be aware that the seas can be rough. It is not all plain sailing. It is not a science. We miss one of our ports, Antigua, because of the choppy seas. So uh, just be aware that they will not guarantee that you will go into every port. They will go in if they can. During the day, you've got plenty to do and far too much to eat. As you can see here, you can get burgers and hot dogs on deck 14 and 15 and drinks on the other side. Uh, so you're never going to be short of somewhere to eat. The buffet is open, I think, more or less 24 hours a day. This is the cafe where you have to pay for the coffee uh, unless you've got the drinks package. It is quite lovely. The world class bar there um, serves particular drinks. So there's drinks available at different bars for different things. So there's a champagne bar and there's a gin bar and all of that stuff. You'll find it on board, whatever you want. Photos are incredibly expensive, but they are beautiful. And if you want a memory from the cruise ship, if you can't do it yourself, they'll take a picture for you and you can buy them or get them on a stick uh, to take home. Shore excursions, of course, are the big thing where they earn a lot of money, but they are the best organised. And also, if there's a delay to your trip, they will hold the cruise ship. If you're by yourself and you go out minding your own business and you don't turn up on time, the ship will go without you. Be warned. In the atrium in the evening, there is lots of fun to be had. There's a live band who play all kinds of music. Uh, for me, the 60s and 70s, where it was at the strongest, they do a lot of new stuff as well, but it doesn't resonate so much with this audience who were rather old in comparison uh, to some cruise lines. I highly recommend you get the app if you're going with Celebrity. It really is useful. It tells you everything you need to know. And you can also connect with other guests too. There's a way of, if they allow you to, you can add their name and then you can stay in touch and say, well, I'll see you at six o'clock for a drink in whichever bar. Uh, you can also find out what's going on. You can watch movies and then, of course, go for dinner. 
here's how it works and you can't make a reservation I believe between seven and eight o'clock something like that it was bizarre to me that half this restaurant was never used as you can see downstairs there look those temp tables are empty yet people were queuing I found it exhausting and it really did get on my tits having to wait between well sort of 15 to 45 minutes maybe an hour sometimes to get seated so you're given one of those buzzers and they call you as soon as you uh, your table is available I don't know. The food on the ship was okay in the restaurant. It wasn't great food. People who were raving about the food seem to me to be people who haven't eaten in decent restaurants, which is a shame. It's all very nice. This is all relative, but it's not fine dining. It's all a bit sort of basic and simple. But then again, they're catering for thousands and thousands of people day in and day out. The food is not bad, but it is not elegant and it's certainly not five star. This is not fine dining, but it is very nice. The steaks are good, but as I say, it's a scoop of mashed potato and some rather undercooked carrots. But it's nice and uh, it's okay. It's certainly not comparable to the Cunards and the Silver Seas and people like that. It's more buffet style food served in your restaurant. But as I say, it was hugely frustrating to me that we had to wait every single night and it just sort of puts you off. I don't know. I, I got sick of wanting to go in the end. So I often would go upstairs and just use the gym instead and hopefully lose calories. There is a huge gym on board and it is well stocked as well. So congratulations to the celebrity team. They really have done everything incredibly well. What they do, they do brilliantly. And you have the treadmills, you have the cross trainers and of course the free weights too. There is a spa on board, which of course is incredibly expensive. It's going to be. Uh, there's a hot tub and all of that stuff. There's jacuzzis downstairs and the steam room within the changing rooms at the spa. The spa itself is open during the day and you can get discounts, especially on shore days, uh, where you will get uh, a good deal. This pissed me off. On the lawn, there are these beautiful sort of cabanas where you can sit privately, but it's something like $250 to $300 a day. I've never heard of anything so preposterous. And of course, 99% of the time, all of them were left empty. It's ridiculous. I don't know how they come up with that. That would be $3,000 simply to sit on the lawn during your 10-day cruise. Ridiculous. Anyway, there are plenty of places to sit and you learn as you go on because it is quite confusing in the beginning how many different areas there are. There's some lovely bars on board. And of course, they have a lot of fun, as you can see here. They do a load of shtick to fill the uh, the beautiful glasses with the fancy drinks. and Everybody loves to take pictures and watch, as you can see. Uh, verging on a care home in places. Uh, but uh, yes, this was an older crowd, but they loved it and had great fun. So that was nice. There's a bar right on 14, which is lovely. The Sky Lounge, really like that one. Uh, but it does have karaoke in, which, of course, is a complete racket and an unedifying mess. One of the things I didn't like about this cruise, there is no free laundry service. You can't do your own laundry, so you have to wash your drawers in the shower and then hang them outside, which is an edifying. Real shame, that. Uh, but it's just part of celebrities' policy. They say for health and safety. I say it's to do with space and room and time and all of that stuff. And, of course, they want to make money selling the dry cleaning themselves. They did offer a package towards the end, $50, to do as much as you can within a bag. So they do make an effort to help you. Uh, but uh, yeah, really disappointing that you can't do your laundry on board. So uh, one of the things that is nice is the outdoor area at the back of the cafe, the buffet. Uh, you can sit there, as you can see, and enjoy the ocean view buffet and the ocean views from it. Fantastic. Live music, well, through until about uh, midnight, which is fantastic. You'll have a lovely time on all the different floors. And then we get to the production shows. I really have to say how impressed I am with the ensemble of these shows. They really work hard. They spend about six weeks uh, doing what they do, like a rehearsal for a West End show, really. They have a fantastic quality and precision and eye. I was hugely impressed. There are shows at seven and nine. The choreography is up there with the absolute best. The lighting is fantastic, too. 
and uh, the singers really are brilliant. I would say sound is one of the problems on this ship. It is quite noisy. So uh, you might find it irritating, especially with some of the female singers who are just too loud. It's piercing in places. But as you can see, the ensemble cast with their choreography really is quite impressive. Every night you'll get a different show and they put headliners on the show. So as well as the special acts, as you can see, who do the silks and some of the circus acts in this particular production. Other nights you'll get magicians and singers. We saw some tremendous acts. There's a guy called Marcus who was on board, who was one of the most brilliant singers uh, and charismatic performers I've seen for a long time. Last night, there was a guy called Joel, who is incredibly talented too. There was a comedian, really, really fantastic quality and standard of shows. They put a lot of work into this and get great headliners every single night, a different act. And then two or three times during the cruise, you'll get to see this company do an ensemble performance of musical shows and dance shows and circus shows, a bit like a Cirque du Soleil. They work really hard. And I have to say the polish for a cruise ship is really really impressive so congratulations to them fantastic job so there are disabled accessible rooms available too these are much bigger of course and they have all the stuff that disabled people will need the bathroom has of course all the grip rails and the doors are fantastic because they open by themselves and that will help people with wheelchairs and on this cruise particularly there were a lot of people who needed this and the staff go above and beyond to help people so yeah there's a security system too, so if you get in bother, you can pull the cord and they'll come. And of course, the showers are there, fitted for disabled people, so it's perfect. So there you go then. Your room is cleaned twice a day. I love the turndown service. Fantastic. So after you've showered for dinner, your room will be cleaned again, tidied, and new towels, fresh towels put in so that you can start again in the morning. So that's fantastic. Congratulations to the entire team aboard Celebrity. We were on board the Reflection. And you've been listening to another exclusive four-star review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. Ta-da.